Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorias, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design your custom brushes in a few steps in Adobe Illustrator starting from very beginning, from the blank paper and then digitalizing and creating the flexible and uh, customizable solution. So let's start with the first step, draw your brush, you can use the both traditional media such as uh, I'm using right now the watercolors and the paper or you can use the digital media such as Photoshop you can pick up any brush available uh, in Photoshop and then vectorize it or try to vectorize it in Adobe Illustrator applying the uh, image trace uh, to this raster image uh, so when your design is done and you are happy with your uh, set, uh, it's time to take a photo or a scan. I prefer to take the scan riser because I don't want to sacrifice the quality of my image. And also I want to obtain a little bit more flexibility by adjusting some um, parameters into the scan. Then the trace image. You need to trace this image in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So open this image by going to the file trace and then place your design and go to the object rasterize and diminish the resolution, setting it to 150 dpi. You can skip your step if your resolution is not so 300 a dpi then we need to go to the actually image trace window image trace bring up the menu and start adjusting the these parameters first set the noise to one pixel then uh, from drop down black and white set to color and then full tone it's a um, very important if you are working with the um, watercolors for example to set it at least to the 50 colors so you can pre preserve this very um, subtle transitions of the colors of the pastel colors and also you can boost the path like i am doing here then you can check the preview and don't forget also to include this option ignore white so you wouldn't include the whites in the your brushes so actually you can take only the colors when you are ready uncheck the preview finally and click the trace and go to the object and uh, expand Make sure that you expand in post, fill and stroke. Your next step is to create a brush. So when you ungroup everything, you need to select your first design, first brush stroke and group it with Ctrl G, Command G. Then bring up the brushes menu, go into the windows brushes or click F5. Then delete everything everything that is default on your brush panel so you can delete nearly everything apart from the brushes that are very basic such as basic represent the basic line then you can drop your design and choose art brush from the drop down menu first change the name of your a brush I'm using the watercolor here then you can change a direction of your brush I'm using it opposite direction and also you can change the color method I'm using the tints and shades you can also use the hue shifts but in my experience with watercolor it's uh, better to use the tints and shades you can also use the icon on the bottom of your brushes panel to create a new brush it uh, gives you a little bit more options but the workflow is the same you are changing the name if you wish you change the directions and you change the color options here to tints and shades so uh, every time you change the stroke color you change the color of your 
brush. Then go to the menu on the bottom left and choose save brushes. Uh, name your design, such as uh, I'm naming it to Watercolor Pro and Light. You can download both of them. Uh, Watercolor Pro has more than 30 watercolor brushes and you can buy it from vitorials.net or you can also download a watercolor light for absolutely free. And now I want to show you how to use the brushes that you just created. So if you they are in the custom location like my, you can choose your brushes file by going to the menu on the bottom left and then other library and you are good to go. You have your brushes panel and you can change your stroke weight. You can change the stroke color with tints and shade and see how this influence your design. So basically this is all for today. I want to thank you for following. I really appreciate for your support guide, for your comments and everything. Thank you for 5000 uh, followers and as always guys, enjoy your day and don't forget to visit tutorials.net if you are interested in watercolor design and check my boss watercolor light set and watercolor pro set. Thank you for watching, have a great day.